from UAE Abu Dhabi. My wife is pregnant for the fourth time and she has a history of gestational diabetes, that's GD, in all three pregnancies. She was informed by her gynecologist last time to avoid pregnancy as it can be lethal due to GD, that's gestational diabetes. What are your, what are our options? Thanks and regards. Dr. Arshad Abbasi, who is an orthodontist, she says that his wife is undergoing the fourth pregnancy and all earlier three pregnancies she had GD, that gestational diabetes, also known as gestational diabetes mellitus, GDM. And now gynecologist has told her that she should not have any further pregnancies, so what should we do, what are the options? Gestational diabetes or gestational diabetes mellitus is when a lady normally doesn't have diabetes. But when she undergoes pregnancy, during the middle of pregnancy, her sugar level rises. She has diabetes. And that's the sex between the 24th and 28th weeks of pregnancy. And this thing happens because there are certain hormones that are released by the placenta. And this hormone, it suppresses the insulin, which, which cannot be absorbed by the cell, it starts accumulating in the body, that's how the sugar level rises and this is called as gestational diabetes mellitus. Regarding a question, that your wife is undergoing the fourth pregnancy and the earlier three pregnancies she had this GDM, the gynecologist has advised her that she should not have one more pregnancy, it may be detrimental to her health, what should we do, what are the options? In such cases, it is preferable that if you can take in advice of a Muslim doctor who has more knowledge of the deen and the science. For example, we are aware that multiple cesarean section is not good for the lady and if she has three or four, then the next cesarean section may be detrimental to her health. And a similar case like GD, she already had three pregnancy. In all these three pregnancies, sugar level went high during pregnancy. And now the gynecologist has advised that she should not have mochi. What should you do? According to the scholars and the focus, they say in such cases, you should take advice from minimum three specialists. My advice would be that if you can take an opinion of a well-known gynecologist who is a Muslim, who is aware of the Quran and Sharia, it's preferable. If not also, no problem. What you have to do that take opinion of three specialists. So go to go and show your wife to three gynecologists who are specialized in this field of GDM and ask the opinion. If all three of them say that having one more pregnancy would be detrimental to her health and it's very dangerous, there are high chances she'll die, then you have to avoid the next pregnancy. But if they say, okay, no, she can have. Maybe the chance is only 5 or 10%. She can yet have another 2-3 babies. Depending upon the opinion. Only taking one opinion and taking a decision is not right. Take the opinion of 3 doctors. And if all 3 say there is very high chances. Then no, maybe more than 80%, 90%. You know, she may die. Then it's something to be concerned. But if they say, okay, there's a risk. Maybe only 5%, 10%. And there are ways that, you know, if there is... If she undergoes a pregnancy, the chances are less, it's not that detrimental. And if something happens, the worst case scenario, maybe you'll have to abort the child. Normally, in Islam, abortion, aborting the child, especially after 120 days, is haram. Before that, for medical reasons, etc., is permitted. Generally, it's not permitted. Abortion is haram in all cases. But if there are medical reasons, then if you do it before 120 days, it's permitted. But after 120 days, it's not permitted, except if the life of the mother is in danger. For example, she has had GD or multi, multiple caesarean. Some ladies can have three multiple caesarean, there's no problem. Some can have four, some can have five, some can have six, depending upon various factors. Depends upon various factors, the health of the mother, the size of the opening of the mother, 
the health of the various factors are there. So based on that, it differs from different people. Same thing with GD. Health of the mother, what's the level. So when you take the opinion of three different specialists and what they say, if it is really very, very, very detrimental, that, you know, most all three say that, no, if you have one more child, there are high chances, very high chances that she will not survive, then you have to see to it that you should take precaution that there is no, no further pregnancy. But if they say, no, yet she can have maybe one child, two child, three child, she'll have to take little bit care, she'll have to have less sugar or you know, nothing will happen. And in worst case to scenario, we may have to abort the child, which is permitted in Islam, to save the life of the mother. Then I feel that you can go ahead with another pregnancy, but taking advice of three different specialists is better. And depending upon what advice they give, you have to take the next step. Hope that answers the question.